Aragorn, the Lord of the Rings, Aragorn, also known as Strider, is a skilled swordsman and a key protagonist in J.R.R. R. Tolkien's epic fantasy series. He is the rightful heir to the throne of Gondor and leads the Fellowship on their quest to destroy the One Ring. Aragorn, the Lord of the Rings, Aragorn, originally named Aragorn II, is a character from J.R.R. R. Tolkien's epic high fantasy novel, series, The Lord of the Rings. He is a descendant of the ancient kings of men and the rightful heir to the throne of Gondor. Aragorn is introduced as a mysterious ranger named Strider who aids Frodo Baggins and the Fellowship of the Ring on their quest to destroy the One Ring and defeat the Dark Lord Sauron. Throughout the series, Aragorn displays exceptional swordsmanship, leadership skills, and courage. He eventually embraces his true identity as the rightful king and becomes a symbol of hope and inspiration for the people of Middle-earth. In the land of Middle-earth, a time of darkness loomed over the kingdoms of men. The Dark Lord Sauron, seeking to reclaim his last ring of power, sent his armies of orcs and fell creatures to wreak havoc across the land. It was in this perilous time that a man named Aragorn emerged as a beacon of hope. Aragorn the true heir to the throne of Gondor, had long wandered the wilderness disguised as a ranger named Strider. He possessed the blood of Isilda, the ancient king who had cut the One Ring from Sauron's hand, but he kept his true identity a secret, awaiting the right time to claim his birthright. As Frodo Baggins and his companions set forth on a quest to destroy the One Ring, Aragorn, with his keen senses and formidable sword skills, joined the Fellowship of the Ring. He became their protector, guiding them through treacherous lands and fending off the relentless attacks of Sauron's forces. In the mines of Moria, Aragorn's leadership and courage were tested when the Fellowship faced the Balrog, an ancient demon of fire and shadow. With his sword, and Earl, ablaze, Aragorn stood firm, battling the creature alongside his companions. Through his strength and determination, they emerged from the depths and continued their perilous journey. As the fellowship fractured, Aragorn, with his unwavering resolve, led Legal as the elf and Jimily the dwarf on a quest to rescue their captured hobbit friends, Merry and Pippin. Together, they traversed the ancient forests of Fangorn and engaged in fierce battles against Saruman's forces. Finally, at the Battle of Helm's Deep, Aragorn united the people of Rowan and fought side by side with them against the overwhelming orc army. His skill with the blade was unmatched as he cut through the enemy ranks, inspiring courage in his allies and striking fear into the hearts of his foes. Throughout their arduous journey, Aragorn faced doubt, temptation, and the weight of his destiny. But he never wavered. With each step, he grew into the true king he was born to be. In the final climactic battle before the Black Gate of Mordor, Aragorn rallied the armies of Gondor and Rowan, leading a desperate charge against the overwhelming might of Sauron's forces. In the moment of truth, as Frodo and Sam struggled to destroy the One Ring, Aragorn confronted the Lord of Darkness himself. With his sword raised high and the hope of Middle-earth resting on his shoulders, Aragorn fought valiantly diverting the attention of Sauron's gaze from Frodo's perilous quest. Ultimately, the Dark Lord's power was vanquished, and the free peoples of Middle-earth were saved. Aragorn, now, revealed as the rightful king of Gondor, ascended to the throne with wisdom and humility. He ushered in a new age of peace and prosperity, fulfilling the ancient prophecies of the return of the king. Aragorn's journey from a mysterious ranger to the legendary king of Gondor was a testament to his strength, honor, and unwavering dedication to the cause of good. He became a symbol of hope, inspiring generations to stand against darkness and fight for what is right. And in the annals of Middle-earth, his name would forever be remembered as a true hero and one of the greatest warriors the realm had ever known. Years passed since Aragorn's triumph over Sauron and as the rightful king of Gondor, he dedicated himself to rebuilding the war-torn kingdom and restoring its former glory. With his wise, rule and strong leadership, peace and prosperity gradually returned to the lands. During his reign, Aragorn proved himself not only a skilled warrior but also a compassionate and just ruler. 
He worked tirelessly to heal the divisions among the people and fostered alliances with neighboring realms. He sought to unite the different traces of Middle-earth and promote cooperation and understanding. Aragorn's valor and selflessness were widely recognized and admired. Bards and storytellers across the land sang of his heroic deeds and his love for Arwen, the elf princess, whom he married after the defeat of Sauron. Their union symbolized the mending of the rift between elves and men, and their love story became the stuff of legends. Under Aragorn's rule, the city of Minas Tirith flourished, its walls rebuilt and its people given hope. He established a fair and just system of governance, with wise counselors and advisors at his side. His wisdom and insight earned him the respect and loyalty of his subjects. Beyond the borders of Gondor, Aragorn maintained strong alliances and fostered peace. He worked closely with the elves of Rivendell, the dwarves of Erda, and the people of Rowan, to ensure the defense of the realm against any potential threats. Together, they forged a lasting bond, united by the shared struggle against darkness. Despite his kingly responsibilities, Aragorn often found solace in his wanderlust, venturing into the untamed lands beyond the borders of his kingdom. He would disappear for days, exploring the vast wilderness, hunting with his loyal companions, and honing his skills as a warrior. These journeys allowed him to remain connected to his roots as a ranger and gave him a deeper understanding of the world outside the walls of the cities. As the years passed, Aragorn's legacy continued to shape the history of Middle-earth. His descendants carried on his noble lineage, and the line of kings remained unbroken for generations to come. The tales of, his valor and leadership were passed down through the ages inspiring future warriors and leaders to follow in his footsteps. When Aragorn's time on Middle-earth came to an end, he departed with the same grace and dignity with which he had ruled. His passing was mourned by all, and a great funeral procession was held in his honor. The people of Gondor and beyond paid their respects, acknowledging the immense impact he had on their lives and the realm. The story of Aragorn, the once ranger turned king stands as a testament to the power of courage, honor, and self-sacrifice. His unwavering commitment to the fight against darkness and his unwavering love for his people left an indelible mark on the history of Middle-earth. And though he may have been known by many names, it was as Aragorn, the King of Gondor, that he will forever be remembered and Sampung nakakatuwang Pinoy goats. Isa, ang buhay ay parang roller coaster ride, kung hindi ka masasaktan, hindi mo mararanasan ang buhay. Dalawa, ang pagpapakawala ng utot ay parang pagpapakawala ng pag-ibig sa inihirog hindi mo dapat pigilan. Tatlo, kung hindi mo mahanap ang pag-ibig sa buhay, magdala ka ng gamot, baka naman mamaya lang mahilo ka na sa saya. Tatlo, kung may problema sa buhay, huwag matens dahil di ito makakabuti sa liver mo. Apat, ang pag-ibig ay parang traffic, minsan natatagalan, minsan naman mabilis lang. Lima, kapag mayaman ka, lahat maa-afford mo pati ang heart attack. Anim, kapag nagkamali ka, huwag kang mag-alala kasi nasa likod mo lang ang buong tropa mo. Pito, ang buhay ay parang movie, maraming drama, comedy, at action minsan kailangan mo lang magpakatino sa horror. Walo, kapag may lumapit na pulis, huwag makipagkulitan, baka mamaya ma-confuse siya sa petex mong buhay. Sham. Kapag nasasaktan ka ngayon dahil sa pag-ibig, huwag kang mag-alala, dahil sa susunod na buwan, may bago ulit, na mamahalin mo. Sampo, kapag in love ka, mag-ingat ka baka mamaya mabingi ka sa we love you too, pero as a friend lang pala. Number 9 Posture How someone carries themselves can give you some indications about their self-confidence. For example, if someone is walking upright with their shoulders back and looking straight ahead. That gives the indication that they feel good about themselves and have confidence. However, if someone is slouching over and looking at the ground when they walk, that gives a much different impression. It may not necessarily mean that they've low self-esteem, but that's the message it gives off. Number 10 Rubbing Hands IT is believed that the hands broadcast what the head is thinking. When a person is rubbing their hands together, Generally it means that they have a positive feeling about something people usually do this when they are hopeful about something good coming up in the future, and they're excited about it.
Number minus 11 shoes A person's shoes can tell you a lot about their personality. Apparently, we all make judgments about people's shoes, but studies show that they are pretty accurate. Nervous people will have new or very clean shoes. Amiable types will wear practical shoes. Calm people have an affinity for uncomfortable shoes. And aggressive people wear ankle boots. Just take a look at your own shoes. Does your personality type fit in with them? Number 12 Overall Appearance how someone dresses and presents themselves can say volumes about them. If the person has their hair in place their clothing pressed, and they show attention to style, they may be very detail-oriented. Someone with a more casual wardrobe or bedhead might be creative, or just messy. And then take someone who looks unkempt and smelly. They could simply be a really lazy person. Number 13 Copying Body Language If you have never tried to read people before, this is something you probably haven't noticed. But, pay close attention to it in the future, because when someone mimics your body language, it means they feel so good about you, that they want to harmonize with you. It's a sign that the conversation is going well and that the other party is receptive to your message. This is done unconsciously, as no one walks around with the intention of outright copying someone. But when we're comfortable with people, we've a tendency to do what they do. Some of us are pretty good at reading the signs that people give off, while others are so bad that they need the other person to come out and straight up tell them what's on their mind. Reading people isn't easy, but if you can do it, it's a fantastic skill to have of course, everyone is different, so interpreting their words and actions may or may not always be accurate. But hopefully, with these tips, you'll be well on your way to becoming better at reading at people. We want to know what you think? When you're meeting someone for the first time, what's the first thing you usually notice about them? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends, so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out other videos as well. Thanks. Number 5. Remember that every student is an individual, a person. He or she isn't just a student, much less a number, in your classroom. Each student has his or her quirks, capabilities, and background milieu. Get to know them as much as possible. And don't just hear them. Listen not just to what they say, but also to what they don't say. Body language often says a lot more than words. Say. Thank you especially for little acts of gratitude they show, even after the semester is over, when they realize that you did make sense, after all. Number 6. Show your students how the subject is relevant to them and why it is not just another academic discipline that must be endured. This goes for any subject. As yourself, how is the subject you are about to teach useful, or about them, and not just another way to raise the QPI, quality point index or grade average, or worse a waste of their time. Number 7. Don't assume that the reason a student is performing badly is low intelligence, conversely, don't assume that because a student is doing very well, he or she is actually learning something. Number 8. Learn how to relax, inside and outside the classroom. You aren't much used to people, or to yourself, if you're so burned out and can't function or think efficiently or coherently. Number 9. You can't save everyone. You are not your students. No matter how hard you try to knock some sense into their heads and hearts, you will always fail with some, so don't blame yourself. Respect their decisions, even if they are wrong. It's the only way for them to learn, assuming they do at all. Some lessons must be learned the hard way. Number 10. Share your story with them, if only to prove to them how human you are, too and to let them know you are journeying with them on this road called life. Number 11. Love your work, and your work will love you back. Thank you for watching the 11 rules of teaching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching. How to effectively read anyone instantly.
13 psychological tips when we are meeting someone for the first time, we're bombarded with information, it can be hard to work out what kind of person they are. That's why it's important to understand how we communicate. According to experts, 55% of what we convey comes from body language, 38% from the tone of voice, and only 7% from what we actually say. This means that when we meet someone for the first time, we have to take into account these three factors, in addition to what a person's appearance may suggest. So, if you want to gain insight into someone's personality when you first meet them, pay attention to the following clues, starting from the head down. Number 1 Eye Contact They often say that the eyes are the window to the soul. The key to knowing which kind of eye contact someone is giving you, it is to consider the context. For example, if a person literally cannot take their eyes off you, it could mean there's a romantic interest. On the other hand, when you look someone in the eye, and they can't bring themselves to look back at you, it's a sign that they're either nervous, or they've got something to hide. That said, if you're talking with someone whose stare is making you squire, especially if they're very still and not blinking something is definitely up, and they may be lying to you. Number 2, Eyebrows If you want to see how comfortable a person is, take a look at their eyebrows. There are three main emotions that make your eyebrows go up, surprise, worry and fear. Try raising your eyebrows when you're having a relaxed casual conversation with a friend. It's hard to do isn't it? If someone talking to you raises their eyebrows, and the topic isn't one that would logically cause surprise, worry, or fear, it's a sign that they're feeling pretty uncomfortable. Number 3 Smile When it comes to smiling, the can lie, but the eyes can't. Genuine smiles reach the eyes, crinkle the skin to create crow's feet around them. People often smile to hide what they're really thinking and feeling, so the next time you wasn't to know if somebody's smile is genuine, look for crinks at the corners of their eyes if they aren't there, that smile is hiding something? Number 4 What they say if you are meeting someone for the first time, and all they do is talk about their wonderful better half or praised hair work colleagues chances are, they are a pretty decent person themselves. Studies show, that the more people rate others as being kind, polite, loving and well-mannered, the more likely they are to also possess these traits. However, the reverse is also true. Anyone backstabbing and describing others as manipulative and hasty, is more likely to have these traits themselves. It's also possible that they have a history of depression or personality disorder. Number 5 Paralanguage Paralanguage is non-verbal communication such as your tone, pitch, or manner of speaking. Basically, it's fancy way of saying that you need to pay attention to how someone says something. For example, if someone is answering you in monotone, they're most likely unattached to your concept and not interested. The use of sarcasm is another good example. When someone uses sarcasm, what the person means is actually the opposite of what the words say. So, pay attention to the emphasis they put on words and how they say it. It gives you a big clue as to what their true intentions are. Number 6 Side Glance People that are warm and open to meeting you will have their body facing you and they will look you in the eye. On the flip side, if you've just met someone and they immediately glance away to the side, this is a subconscious body language sign that means they are looking for an escape. Number 7 Frequent Nodding Nodding is usually a sign that someone agrees with you, but, exaggerated nodding may signal anxiety, about approval. When you're telling someone something, and they nod excessively, this means that they are worried about what you think of them, or that you doubt their ability to follow your instructions. On the other hand, frequent nodding could also be unconscious gestures that are cues for the other person to get a move on, just like when a person keeps looking at their watch or touches their car keys. Number minus 8 Chin and Jaw When someone is trying to make a decision, they tend to rub their chin. They might be looking up, down, or to the side, it's a sure sign that they're deep in thought. A clenched jaw is a sign of stress. Regardless of what the person is saying, this indicates a considerable level of discomfort. The conversation may be heading towards something they're anxious about, on their mind may be elsewhere and they're focusing on the thing that's stressing them out. Number 9 Posture How someone carries themselves can give you some indications about their self-confidence. For example, if someone is walking upright with their shoulders back and looking straight ahead, that gives the indication that they feel good about themselves and have confidence. However, if someone is slouching over and looking at the ground when they walk, that gives a much different impression. It may not necessarily mean that they've low self-esteem, but that's the message it gives off. Number 10 Rubbing Hands 
IT is believed that the hands broadcast what the head is thinking. When a person is rubbing their hands together, generally it means that they have a positive feeling about something people usually do this when they are hopeful about something good coming up in the future, and they're excited about it. Number minus 11 shoes A person's shoes can tell you a lot about their personality. Apparently, we all make judgments about people's shoes, but studies show that they are pretty accurate. Nervous people will have new or very clean shoes. Amiable types will wear practical shoes. Calm people have an affinity for uncomfortable shoes. And aggressive people wear ankle boots. Just take a look at your own shoes. Does your personality type fit in with them? Number 12 Overall Appearance How someone dresses and presents themselves can say volumes about them. If the person has their hair in place their clothing pressed, and they show attention to style, they may be very detail-oriented. Someone with a more casual wardrobe or bedhead might be creative, or just messy. And then take someone who looks unkempt and smelly. They could simply be a really lazy person. Number 13 Copying Body Language If you have never tried to read people before, this is something you probably haven't noticed. But, pay close attention to it in the future, because when someone mimics your body language, it means they feel so good about you, that they want to harmonize with you. It's a sign that the conversation is going well and that the other party is receptive to your message. This is done unconsciously, as no one walks around with the intention of outright copying someone. But when we're comfortable with people, we've a tendency to do what they do. Some of us are pretty good at reading the signs that people give off, while others are so bad that they need the other person to come out and straight up tell them what's on their mind. Reading people isn't easy, but if you can do it, it's a fantastic skill to have of course, everyone is different, so interpreting their words and actions may or may not always be accurate. But hopefully, with these tips, you'll be well on your way to becoming better at reading at people. We want to know what you think. When you're meeting someone for the first time, what's the first thing you usually notice about them? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends, so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out other videos as well. Thanks for watching. 15 Psychological Facts Number 1. Playing chess makes you smarter. Chess makes players think through things from various angles they must use both deductive and inductive thinking. Number 2. You might learn more by listening to music when you study. Music helps you engage the parts of your brain that help you focus. Number 3. Never be a prisoner of your past. It was a lesson, not a life sentence. Number 4. Writing notes, instead of typing them, helps you learn what you're noting because writing involves different parts of the brain than typing. Number 5. Eating your food slowly will help you lose weight, eo to stress, and leads to better digestion. Number 6. Adrenaline, also known as the fight or flight hormone, is a chemical substance released by the adrenal glands and certain neurons. It is generally released during exciting occurrences to help the cells utilize sugar for fueling the body. Some incidents result in a sudden overflow of this hormone into the blood and this phenomenon is known as an adrenaline rush. For example watching a scary movie. Number 7. Babies consolidate memories and newly learned skills while they sleep, which is why napping is so important especially in the first year of their life. Comma. Number 8. The human brain can store about 2.5 million gigabytes of data. Number 9. Allowing yourself to experience the negative emotions of an event in your life might actually help you move past it faster. Number 10. Hugs produce oxytocin. Oxytocin makes us more empathetic towards other. Number 11. Being in love lowers your stress. Level by increasing your serotonin levels. Number 12. Announcing your goals to others actually demotivates you and makes you less likely to meet your goal. Number 13. Human tends to care more about one person rather than massive tragedies. Number 14. It has been observed that color blue is natural appetite suppressant. Number 15. Studies found that playing video games can also have a good side effects on kids.
video games gives kids chance to unleash their negative emotions and to face defeat scary things, thanks for watching 15 psychological facts, if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends, so we can keep making them, for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Eating an apple at night can be a healthy option if you have the tendency to crave late night snacks. Apples are a good source of fiber and provide a feeling of fullness, which can help prevent overeating. They are also low in calories and high in vitamins and antioxidants, making them a nutritious snack option. Additionally, apples contain natural sugars and carbohydrates that can provide a quick energy boost which can aid in digestion and keep you feeling full, which may help prevent overeating late at night. Apples also contain vitamins and minerals that can benefit your overall health, including vitamin C, potassium, and antioxidants. However, some people may experience digestive issues if they eat too close to bedtime, so it's best to eat a snack at least an hour or two before going to bed. Additionally, if you have specific dietary needs or concerns, it's always best to consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice. Facts about dialysis 1. Dialysis can be done in two ways, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. Hemodialysis is the most common type of dialysis and involves having blood pumped out of the body and filtered through a machine before being returned to the body. Peritoneal dialysis involves using the lining of the abdomen as a filter for waste removal. 2. Dialysis is typically done dialysis, in which, the blood is filtered outside the body, using a machine that acts as an artificial kidney. Peritoneal dialysis is less common and involves filling the abdominal cavity with a special fluid, which then pulls waste products from the bloodstream. 3. Dialysis may be required on a temporary or permanent basis. Some patients may only require dialysis for a short period of time, such as after a surgery, or in the case of acute kidney injury. Others may require dialysis on a permanent basis, for example if they have end-stage renal disease. Four. The frequency and duration of dialysis treatments can vary depending on the patient's needs. Some patients may require dialysis three times per week, for four hours per session. Others may require more frequent or longer sessions. 5. Dialysis can cause side effects such as nausea, headaches, low blood pressure, muscle cramps, and infections. However, these side effects can usually be managed by adjusting the dialysis treatment or medication. 6. Dialysis can improve the quality of life and prolong the lifespan of patients with kidney failure. While dialysis is not a cure for kidney disease, it can help to maintain the body's balance of fluids, electrolytes, and minerals, and prevent complications such as heart disease and bone disease. Additionally, some studies have suggested that eating apples before bedtime may improve sleep quality due to their high content of melatonin and antioxidant compounds. However, like with any food, it is important to keep in mind portion control. Eating too many apples before bed can cause discomfort and bloating. Additionally, if you are sensitive to quality due to their high content of sleep-promoting compounds like melatonin, serotonin, and tryptophan, However, it's worth noting that consuming any food right before bed can disrupt sleep and cause digestive issues. If you do choose to eat an apple at night, it's best to consume it at least an hour before bedtime and in moderate quantities. Also, make sure to brush your teeth afterward to prevent tooth decay and maintain good oral hygiene. In summary, Eating an apple at night can be a healthy and satisfying option as long as you eat it in moderation and avoid consuming it right before bedtime. 50 Facts About Love That Will Seriously Make Your Heart Smile Did you know that love actually is blind? And that men are more likely to say I love you before their female partner does? Neither did we, until we started researching the wonderful and mysterious world of falling in love and having feelings for another human being. 
love holds so much space not only in our lives, but in our psychology, in our biology, and in our history. Here, we've outlined 50 facts about love that will help you to understand it, and maybe even find it in your own life. One eye contact is key, some extraordinary research has found that couples who are in love and bond in a romantic relationship synchronize their heart rates after gazing into each other's eyes for three minutes. Two love works. Fast. It only takes up to four minutes to decide whether you like someone or not. Three. Love can be addictive. Falling in love is much like taking a dose of cocaine, as both experiences affect the brain similarly and trigger a similar sensation of euphoria. Research found that falling in love produces several euphoria-inducing chemicals that stimulate 12 areas of the brain at the same time. 4. There's a reason why cuddling feels so good. Oxytocin, the so-called love or cuddle hormone, is produced during an embrace or cuddle. 5. Your heart can actually break. Research has provided evidence that intense, traumatizing events, such as breakup, divorce, loss of a loved one, physical separation from a loved one, or betrayal can cause real physical pains in the area of one's heart. This condition is called the broken heart syndrome, 6. Biologically, your love changes with time. It is estimated that romantic love, which is linked with euphoria, dependence, sweaty palms, butterflies, and alike, only lasts about a year. After that first year begins the so-called committed love stage. The transition is linked with elevated neurotrophin protein levels in newly formed couples. 7. Love goes in. Hand with stress. Studies show that people at an early stage of love have lower leaves of serotonin, which is associated with feelings of happiness and well-being, and higher levels of cortisol, associated with stress. 8. Priorities change when looking for a long-term companion. There's evidence that when looking for a fling, the body wins over the face on a physical attraction basis. The opposite is true, however, for those who are looking for a long-term relationship partner. 9. Feelings make life that much sweeter. Researchers looked at a group of people, and found that those who were thinking about love said a specific kind of food was sweeter than those thinking about jealousy or something neutral. 10. Some people can't feel love. Some individuals who claim never to have felt. Romantic love suffer from hypopituitarism, a rare disease that doesn't allow a person to feel the rapture of love. 11. Your body has vein of love. Engagement rings are often worn on the fourth finger of the left hand because the ancient Greeks maintained that finger contains the vena amoris, or the vein of love, that runs straight to the heart. 12. Sometimes, your emotions play tricks on your heart. Getting dumped often leads to frustration attraction, which causes an individual to love the one who dumped him or her even more. 13. Love is chaos. The enduring symbol of love, Cupid, or Eros, is said to have come from chaos, the yawning void, and represents the primitive forces of love and desire. 14. Love is a word derived from Sanskrit. The term love is from the Sanskrit labudai, meaning desire. 15. The parent trap. Some psychologists argue that we fall in love with someone who is similar to the parent with whom we have unresolved childhood issues unaware we are seeking to resolve this childhood relationship in adulthood. 16. Add a little adventure to your life. Studies show that if a man meets a woman in a dangerous situation, and vice versa, such as on a trembling bridge, he is more likely to fall in love with her than if he met her in a more mundane setting, such as in an office. 17. Sometimes, timing really is everything. Timing significantly influences love. Individuals are more likely to fall in love if they are looking for adventure, craving to leave home lonely, displaced in a foreign country, passing into a new stage of life, or financially and psychologically ready to share themselves or start a family. 18. Women oike like testosterone. Women around the world are more likely to fall in love with partners with ambition, education, 
wealth, respect, status, a sense of humor, and who are taller than they are. Women also prefer distinctive cheekbones and a strong jawbone, which are linked to testosterone levels. 19. Eye contact is key. Scientists suggest that merely staring into another person's eyes is a strong precursor to love. In an experiment, strangers of the opposite sex were put in a room together for 90 minutes where they talked about intimate details and then stared into each other's eyes without talking. Many felt a deep attraction for each other, and two married each other six months later, 20. Attraction is evolutionary. Men in love show more activity in the visual part of the brain, while women in love show more activity in the part of the brain that governs memory. Scientists speculate that men have to size up a woman visually to see if she can bear babies, while women have to remember aspects of man's behavior to determine if he would be an adequate provider. 21 Slow and steady wins the race. The longer and deliberate a courtship, the better the prospects for a long marriage. People who have intense, Hollywood-type romances at the beginning are more likely to divorce, 22. Men and women feel love differently. Women often feel loved when talking face-to-face -face with their partner, men, on the other hand, often feel emotionally close when they work, play, or talk side by side, 23. Love is journey. Scientists suggest that most people will fall in love approximately seven times before marriage, 24. Love literally makes you grow. The act of falling in love is known to have a calming effect on a person's body and mind. This, in turn, will raise levels of nerve growth for about a year, 25. Opposites don't attract. Individuals who appear similar and at the same level of attractiveness are more likely to end up together than people who look significantly different. Many social researchers indicate that there is a pattern in how people chose their mates or romantic relationships. This is demonstrated through a matching hypothesis, which indicates that people are more attracted to others who share a similar attraction level with them. 26. Butterflies are a real, stress-related, thing. The expression of having butterflies in your stomach is a real feeling that is caused by an adrenaline rush. When and if you fall for someone, it will probably be hard to avoid the feeling of butterflies dancing and fluttering around in your stomach. This happens as a body's response to a fight or fight situation, 27. Lady in Red For reasons that are not yet clear, studies consistently show that when the same woman wears red versus a different color, men are more inclined to engage her in deeper conversations. This is true even when the clothing styles are otherwise identical, 28. Love and sex influence us differently. Research has shown that thinking of love influences creativity and abstract thoughts, as well as long-term planning. Thinking of sex however influences immediate decision-making and attention to momentary details, 29. The I love you moment. Statistically, men are more likely to say I love you in a relationship than women. Men are also more likely to be more emotionally affected by break UPS than women are, 30. Kissing extends your lifespan. Men who kiss their wives in the morning are thought to live up to five years longer. 31 love potions are made from human sweat. Historically, huma sweat has been used to make love attracting perfumes, and even love potions. Though sweat contains pheromones that are key ingredients in attraction, the efficacy of sweat in perfumes and potions is questionable at best. 32. Symmetry is everything. Symmetry is how our brains judge beauty. A symmetrical-faced man will begin having sex. Four years earlier, have more sex, affairs, and lovers than those with asymmetry in their faces. Women will also experience more orgasms with symmetrical-faced men. Six things that you should never ever tell to people. Number one. Never tell them your plans, they will sabotage you. Number two. Never tell them your weaknesses, they will use them against you. Number three. Never tell them your failures, they will always see you as a failure and never give you an opportunity. Number four. Don't tell them your next moves, move in silence and shock them with the 
Results. Number 5. Don't reveal your secrets, only a fool reveals their secrets. Number 6. Never reveal your income or the sources of income, always let them wonder. These are the 6 things that you should never tell to people. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends and family so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching. Ang pagpapayaman ay hindi madali at hindi rin nangyayari sa loob ng isang buwan lamang. Ito ay isang proseso na nangangailangan ng pagsusumikap, syaga, at pasensya. Ngunit maaring makatulong ang mga sumusunod na mga tips upang maabot ang iyong mga financial goals. Magplano, mahalaga na magplano ka ng mga hakbang na dapat mong gawin upang magipon at magpataas ng iyong kita. Magtakda ng mga layunin at tiyakin na ito ay makatotohanan. Maaring ito ay pagbili ng bahay o sasakyan, pagbabayad ng utang, o pagtakda ng isang savings goal. Magtipid, isipin kung paano mo maaaring magtipid sa iyong mga gastos. Maaring ito ay pagbawas sa iyong mga autang o pagbili ng hindi kailangan na mga bagay. Maari ding maghanap ng mga paraan upang magtipid sa mga pang-araw-araw na gastusin tulad ng kuryente, tubig, o pagkain. Maghanap ng karagdagang pagkakakitaan, maaring maghanap ka ng karagdagang pagkakakitaan sa pamamagitan ng pagbebenta ng mga produkto o serbisyo, paglalakaw ng mga bagay online, pagtatrabaho bilang freelancer, at iba pa. Mag-invest, maaring mag-invest ka sa mga pagkakataon na may magandang rate ng interes o maganda ang potential para sa paglago ng iyong pera. Maari ka ring magbukas ng investment account sa mga bangko o investment companies upang mas mapalago pa ang iyong pera. Mag-aral, mag-aral tungkol sa mga paraan para mapalago ang iyong pera. Maaring ito ay pagbabasa ng mga libro tungkol sa pamumuhunan o pagkuha ng mga kursong nagtuturo tungkol sa pag-iipon at pamumuhunan. Ang pagpapayaman ay hindi lamang tungkol sa pagtataguyod ng iyong pera, kundi pati na rin sa tamang mindset. Dapat ay nakatoon ka sa pagtitiyaga at pagsusumikap, kaysa sa agarang resulta. Maaring ito ay isang proseso na magdudulot ng stress at pagod, ngunit kapag nakamit mo ang iyong layunin, ay masasabing worth it lahat ng pagsisikap na ginawa mo. Sa huli, mahalaga na tandaan na ang pagpapayaman ay hindi nangangailangan ng agarang resulta. Maaring ito ay isang proseso na nangangailangan ng pagsusumikap, tiyaga, at pasensya. Ang pagpapayaman ay tungkol sa pagtataguyod ng magandang kinabukasan para sa sarili at pamilya, at hindi tungkol sa paghahanap ng madaling pera sa pamamagitan ng hindi makatuwirang paraan. Bakit tinatamad ang isang tao? Ang pagkakaroon ng tamad na katangian ay maaring dahil sa iba't ibang kadahilanan. Narito ang ilan sa mga posibleng dahilan kung bakit tinatamad ang isang tao. Kakulangan sa motibasyon, maaring mawala ng gana ang isang tao dahil sa kakulangan sa motibasyon. Kung hindi sila nakakatagpo ng mga bagay na nagbibigay sa kanila ng inspirasyon o kasiyahan, maaring magdulot ito ng kawalan ng enerhiya at pagkakainteres sa paggawa ng mga gawain. Pagkabagot, maaring mabagot ang isang tao sa paulit-ulit na mga gawain o aktibidad sa buhay. Kung hindi sila nakakatagpo ng mga bagong hamon o mga bagay na nakakapagbigay ng kasiyahan at pagsisikap, maaring mawalan sila ng enerhiya at magpakita ng katamaran. Pagkakaroon ng stress at pagod, ang labis na stress at pagod ay maaring magdulot ng pagkakatamad sa isang tao. Kung hindi sila nakakapagpahinga o makahanap ng oras upang mag-relax, maaring magdulot ito ng kakulangan ng enerhiya at pagkakainteres sa mga gawain. Kakulangan sa kalidad ng tulog ang pagkakaroon ng hindi sapat na oras ng tulog o hindi magandang kalidad ng tulog ay maaring magdulot ng pagkakatamad sa isang tao. Kung hindi sila nakakapagpahinga ng maayos sa gabi, maaring magdulot ito ng kakulangan ng enerhiya at pagkakainteres sa mga gawain sa araw-araw. Kakulangan sa pagkain at nutrisyon Ang kakulangan sa pagkain at nutrisyon ay maaring magdulot ng pagkakatamad sa isang tao. Kung hindi sila nakakakain ng sapat na mga pagkain na nagbibigay ng enerhiya at sustansya, maaring magdulot ito ng kakulangan ng enerhiya at pagkakainteres sa mga gawain. Kapag nararamdaman ng isang tao ang tamad na katangian, mahalaga na sila ay maghanap ng mga paraan upang masiguro na sila ay may sapat na motibasyon, pagpapahinga, nutrisyon, at pagbabago sa kanilang nakagawi ang mga gawain.
maaari rin silang maghanap ng inspirasyon sa iba o maghanap ng tulong mula sa profesional na magbibigay ng mga tamang paraan upang malampasan ang kanilang katamaran. Salamat sa panonood at pakilike ang video para malaman din ng iba at huwag kalimutang e-follow si Gabriel Guido. Most interesting facts about ants. 1. Ants have two stomachs, one for themselves and one to share with other ants. 2. The total weight of all ants in the world is estimated to be greater than the total weight of all humans. 3. Ants can lift and carry objects that are up to 50 times their own body weight. 4. Some species of ants engage in farming by cultivating and world is estimated to be greater than the weight of all humans. 5. Ants can carry objects that are up to 50 times their own body weight. 6. Some species of ants farm and milk other insects for their sugary secretions, just like humans farm cows for milk. 7. Ants communicate with each other through touch, chemicals, and sound. 8. Ants can navigate and find their way back to their nest using visual cues and the Earth's magnetic field. 9. Some ants make crafts to float on water during floods, and others can use their bodies to build bridges to avoid obstacles. 10. There are over 12,000 known species of ants, and scientists believe there may be many more yet to be discovered. 11. Ants have been around for over 130 million years and are one of the most successful and dominant groups of insects on Earth. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and follow for more. Golem, also known as Smeagol, is a fictional character from J.R.R. R. Tolkien's epic fantasy novel, The Lord of the Rings. He plays a significant role in the story as both the former bearer of the One Ring and a complex, tormented character. Golem's tragic journey and the influence of the ring on his psyche make him a memorable and compelling figure. Originally a member of the store Hobbit race, Golem lived in the riverside community of Gladden Fields near the Misty Mountains. He was a seemingly ordinary Hobbit until he discovered the One Ring, a powerful artifact forged by the Dark Lord Sauron to rule over all others. The ring quickly corrupted Golem extending his lifespan and driving him to madness and obsession. As the ring's influence grew, Golem's physical appearance changed, transforming him into a twisted and emaciated creature. He became a wretched, skulking figure, with pale skin, bulbous eyes, and a raspy, hissing voice. Golem's obsession with the ring led him to murder his cousin, Deagle, in order to possess it, thus beginning his descent into darkness. For centuries, Golem lived in seclusion, dwelling in the caves beneath the misty mountains, where he referred to himself as Golem due to the gurgling sound he made when speaking. The ring became the central focus of his existence, consuming his thoughts and driving him to madness. Golem developed a split personality, with his former self, Smeagol, occasionally emerging to engage in internal debates and conflicts with his alter ego. Golem's fate becomes intertwined with the quest of the Fellowship of the Ring, a group formed to destroy the One Ring and defeat Sauron. Frodo Baggins, the Ring's current bearer, becomes Golem's unwitting guide as they journey towards Mount Doom, where the Ring was originally forged and where it must be destroyed. Golem, driven by his desire to reclaim the Ring, becomes a tragic antagonist, constantly scheming and seeking opportunities to regain his precious. Ultimately, Golem's role reaches its climax at Mount Doom. In a moment of greed and desperation, he bites off Frodo's finger to claim the ring, but in the ensuing struggle, Golem falls into the fiery chasm, along with the ring, bringing about its destruction and Sauron's defeat. Thus, Golem's tragic journey comes to an end, with his obsession ultimately leading to his own demise, but not without playing a vital role in the ultimate fate of Middle-earth. Golem's character embodies themes of addiction, corruption, and the destructive power of obsession. He serves as a cautionary tale and a complex exploration of the human psyche under the influence of great power and evil. Golem's internal struggles and his moments of sympathy and redemption make him one of the most memorable characters in the Lord of the Rings and a symbol of the enduring impact of the Rings' malevolent power. Once upon a time, 
In the shadowy depths of the Misty Mountains, there lived a pitiful creature named Golem. His existence was consumed by a singular desire, to possess the One Ring, the source of his obsession and the cause of his tragic transformation. Golem, known as Smeagol in his former, life, was once a cheerful hobbit, content with his simple existence in the peaceful village of Gladden Fields. But fate had a different path in store for him. One day, while out fishing in the great river Anduin, Smeagol's life took a dark turn. As the sun glistened upon the water, Smeagol's eyes caught sight of a mysterious glimmering object nestled among the riverbed rocks. It was the One Ring. Discarded by Isilda centuries ago. Instantly, a covetous hunger seized Smeagol's heart, and he snatched up the ring, unable to resist its allure. From that moment forward, Smeagol's life became a twisted tale of obsession and torment. The ring whispered in his mind, its dark magic seeping into his very being. The once joyful hobbit began to change, both in body and spirit. His skin grew pallid, his eyes bulged, and his voice turned into a harsh, hissing rasp. He renounced his former name and adopted the twisted moniker Golem, a reflection of the gurgling sound he made. Driven by his lust for the ring, Golem retreated to the gloomy depths of the Misty Mountains where he lived a wretched existence. Alone in his dank cave, he conversed with himself, his split personality manifesting as, internal arguments between Golem and Smeagol. Golem, consumed by his desire to possess the ring once more, often overpowered the more gentle and rational Smeagol, perpetuating their internal struggle. Time passed, and news of the ring's existence spread throughout Middle-earth. Golem's tortured soul sensed its growing presence. One day, fate intervened, bringing Golem face to face with the ring's new bearer, Frodo Baggins. Frodo, accompanied by a fellowship of loyal friends, embarked on a perilous quest to destroy the ring and save Middle-earth from the clutches of Sauron. Golem, recognizing the ring's familiar aurora, stealthily followed Frodo and the fellowship, driven by his dual nature. At times, Smeagol's compassion and pity for Frodo surfaced, fueling a glimmer of hope for redemption. But Golem's lust for the ring proved too strong, and he plotted to betray Frodo to regain his precious. As Frodo and his companions reached the treacherous volcanic slopes of Mount Doom, Golem's schemes reached their zenith. In the final moments, when Frodo and Golem grappled on the precipice, the ring's power tugged at their very souls. In a last desperate act, Golem bit off, Frodo's finger, severing him from the ring. But in his moment of triumph, Golem lost his balance and plummeted into the fiery abyss, the ring slipping from his grasp. As Golem and the ring met their fiery end, Middle Earth was saved. The ring's destruction shattered Sauron's dominion and brought about the defeat of darkness. Golem's tortured existence had served a greater purpose as he unwittingly played a vital role in the preservation of Middle-earth. And so, the tale of Golem, the tragic creature whose life was consumed by obsession, came to an end. His story serves as as the fiery chasm of Mount Doom consumed Golem and the Ring, a profound silence descended upon the land. The echoes of his demise reverberated through the mountains, as if the very earth mourned there. Passing of this tormented soul, Golem's tragic journey left an indelible mark on those who witnessed it. Frodo, despite the pain and loss he endured, couldn't help but feel a flicker of sympathy for the creature whose life was irreparably shattered by the ring's influence. He recognized that Golem's obsession had twisted him into a tragic figure, stripped of his former self. The Fellowship mourned the loss of Frodo's finger but rejoiced in the destruction of the ring. They knew that without Golem's desperate act, the victory over Sauron would have been unattainable. They honored the memory of the pitiful creature whose journey had inadvertently brought about the salvation of Middle-earth. In the aftermath of Golem's demise, the tale of his tragic existence spread far and wide, songs were sung, and stories were told of the twisted creature whose insatiable desire for power ultimately led to his downfall. Golem became a cautionary tale a reminder of the dangers of unchecked obsession and the corrupting influence of great power. Yet, 
Amidst the cautionary aspect of his story, Golem's struggle also inspired contemplation and empathy. Many wondered what might have been, had Golem found a different path, had he been spared the burden of the ring's curse. His inner conflict between Golem and Smeagol resonated with those who recognized the battles within their own hearts, the constant struggle between light and darkness. In time, Golem's memory faded into the annals of history, a bittersweet remnant of a bygone era. But his legacy endured, a reminder that even the most pitiful and tormented souls could play pivotal roles in the grand tapestry of destiny. And so, the tale of Golem, the tragic creature twisted by the ring's power, became a testament to the strength of the human spirit, a cautionary tale, and a symbol of redemption. His story echoed through the ages, a reminder that even in the face of darkness, there is always a glimmer of hope, however, faint it may seem. Thank you for watching please. Paano maihiwasan ang kulubot sa balat? Ang kulubot sa balat ay bahagi ng natural na pagtanda ng katawan, ngunit mayroong ilang mga paraan upang maiwasan o mabawasan ito. Narito ang ilang mga tips. Maglagay ng sunscreen ang araw ay isa sa mga pangunahing sanhi ng kulubot sa balat. Maglagay ng sunscreen araw-araw upang maprotektahan ang iyong balat mula sa UV rays na nakakasama sa iyong balat. Umiwas sa sobrang pagpapaputi ng balat ang sobrang pagpapaputi ng balat ay maaaring magdulot ng kulubot dahil ito ay nagdudulot ng pagkakaroon ng dryness sa balat. Kung kinakailangan mo ang pagpapaputi ng balat, siguraduhin na gumamit ng mga produkto na hindi nakakasama sa balat. Kumain ng masustansyang pagkain ng mga pagkain na mayaman sa antioxidants, beta carotene, vitamin C, at vitamin E ay nakakatulong upang mapanatiling malusog ang iyong balat. Kumain ng mga prutas, gulay, at lean protein upang mapabuti ang kalagayan ng iyong balat. Uminom ng sapat na tubig ang tubig ay nakakatulong upang mapanatiling hydrated ang iyong balat. Uminom ng sapat na tubig sa araw-araw upang maiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng dryness sa balat. Huwag magyosi ang paninigarilyo ay maaaring magdulot ng premature aging at kulubat sa balat. Iwasan ang paninigarilyo upang mapanatiling malusog ang iyong balat. Mag-ehersisyo ang ehersisyo ay nakakatulong upang mapanatiling malusog ang iyong balat at maiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng kulubat sa balat. Regular na ehersisyo ay nakakatulong sa pagpapalakas ng sirkulasyon ng dugo sa balat. Huwag magpuyat ang kawalan ng sapat na tulog ay maaaring magdulot ng pagkakaroon ng kulubat sa balat. Siguraduhin na nakakatulog ka ng sapat na bilang ng oras upang maiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng kulubat sa balat. Ang pag-iingat ng iyong balat ay mahalaga upang maiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng kulubat sa balat. Sundin ang mga nabanggit na tips upang mapanatiling malusog ang iyong balat at maiwasan ang kulubat sa balat. Salamat sa panonood at huwag kalimutang. E-like ang video para lahat tayo ay gumanda at e-follow na rin po si Gabriel Guido. The Joyful Samoid, a true friend and companion welcome, animal lovers, to our exploration of one of the most joyful and lovable dog breeds on the planet, the Samoid. In this video. We'll take you on a journey to discover the unique characteristics, history, and the boundless love that these adorable creatures bring to our lives. So sit back, relax, and let's delve into the world of the Samoid. The Samoid breed originated from the nomadic Samoidic reindeer herders of Siberia. These majestic dogs were not only valued for their ability to pull sleds and herd reindeer but also for their warm and affectionate nature making them cherished members of the Samoid community. With their thick double coat designed to withstand extreme cold, the Samoid played an integral role in the survival of their human companions in the harsh Arctic climate. These dogs would even sleep with their owners to provide warmth during the frigid nights. The Samoid is a medium to large sized dog with a captivating smile that can melt anyone's heart. They have a sturdy build, a beautiful, fluffy white coat, and expressive dark eyes that radiate warmth and friendliness. Known for their gentle and friendly disposition, Samoyeds are excellent family dogs and get along well with children, other pets, and even strangers. They have an inherent desire to be around people, making them fantastic companions. But beware, the Samoyed is a social creature that craves attention and interaction. If left alone for extended periods, they can become anxious and resort to destructive behavior. 
So, it's essential to provide them with plenty of mental and physical stimulation. Taking care of a Samoid involves some specific considerations. Their luxurious, thick coat requires regular grooming to prevent matting and keep it looking its best. Weekly brushing is recommended, and during shedding seasons, more frequent brushing is necessary to keep those white tufts from decorating your entire home. Samoyeds are intelligent and eager to please, but they can also be a bit stubborn at times. Consistent training, using positive reinforcement methods, is crucial to help them become well-behaved and obedient companions. Another essential aspect of Samoyed care is regular exercise. These dogs have a lot of energy to burn and thrive on activities like long walks, playtime, and even dog sports. Providing them with ample exercise helps keep them physically fit and mentally stimulated. As we come to the end of our exploration of the Samoyed breed, we cannot emphasize enough the incredible joy and love these dogs bring to our lives. Their infectious happiness, unwavering loyalty, and gentle nature make them a perfect addition to any family or individual looking for a lifelong companion. Whether it's their playful antics, their unwavering devotion, or their ability to bring a smile to your face even on the toughest days, the Samoyed truly is a special breed. Their presence fills our homes with warmth, laughter, and endless cuddles. So, if you're considering adding a furry friend to your life, the Samoyed could be the perfect choice. But remember, owning a Samoyed comes with responsibilities, including regular grooming, training, and providing them with the love and attention they crave. The favorite foods of Samoyeds can vary from dog to dog, as each dog may have different preferences and dietary needs. However, there are some common foods that many Samoyeds enjoy, high-quality dog food. A balanced and nutritious diet is essential for the health of your Samoid. Look for high-quality dog food that contains a good balance of protein, healthy fats, and carbohydrates. Consult with your veterinarian to determine the best food for your specific Samoid based on its age, weight, and any dietary restrictions. Lean Proteins Samoyeds typically enjoy lean proteins such as chicken, turkey, fish and lean cuts of beef. These protein sources provide essential amino acids for muscle development and overall health. Fruits and Vegetables Many Samoyeds enjoy fruits and vegetables, as healthy treats. Some popular options include apples, carrots, blueberries, and green beans. Remember to remove any seeds, pits, or cores and cut them into appropriate sizes for your dog. Frozen Treats Samoyeds have a thick double coat, and they often appreciate something cool and refreshing, especially during hot weather. You can make homemade frozen treats by blending dog-friendly ingredients like plain yogurt, mashed bananas, and a touch of peanut butter, then freezing them into bite-sized portions. Dental Chews Dental health is important for Samoyeds and they often enjoy chewing on treats designed to promote dental hygiene. Look for dental chews that are specifically formulated to reduce tartar buildup and freshen breath. Always choose treats that are appropriate for your dog's size and consult your vet for recommendations. Remember, it's crucial to provide a balanced and appropriate diet for your Samoyed, taking into consideration its sage, weight, and any specific dietary needs or allergies it may have. Consult with your veterinarian to ensure that you are providing the best nutrition for your beloved Samoyed. Samoyeds have a thick double coat that provides insulation and protection from cold climates. Due to their origins in the Arctic regions of Siberia, Samoyeds are well adapted to colder climates and thrive in environments with colder temperatures. These dogs have a natural affinity for colder weather and are most comfortable in climates where temperatures range from cool to cold. They enjoy being outside in the snow and colder seasons, and their thick fur coat helps them stay warm in frigid temperatures. However, it's important to note that Samoyeds can adapt to various climates with proper care and precautions. While they excel in colder climates, 
They can also live in milder climates as long as certain measures are taken to ensure their comfort and well-being. Here are some considerations. Adequate shelter, regardless of the climate, it's essential to provide Samoyeds with proper shelter. Make sure they have access to a well-insulated doghouse or a comfortable indoor space where they can rest and seek refuge from extreme temperatures. Temperature regulation, in warmer climates, it's crucial to keep Samoyeds cool and prevent overheating. Provide them with access to shaded areas, fresh water at all times, and if necessary, use fans or air conditioning to maintain a comfortable temperature indoors. Exercise and rest, regardless of the climate, Samoyeds need regular exercise. During hotter months, it's best to exercise them during cooler times of the day, such as early morning or late evening, to avoid excessive heat exposure. Avoid strenuous activities during peak heat hours. Grooming, regular grooming is, important for Samoyeds, especially in warmer climates. Keep their coat well maintained, brush them regularly to prevent matting, and consider periodic trims to help them stay cool. While Samoyeds thrive in colder climates, they can adapt to various environments as long as their needs for temperature regulation, exercise, and grooming are met. Always pay attention to your Samoyeds behavior and consult with a veterinarian if you have concerns about their comfort in a particular climate. Samoyeds have distinct characteristics and behaviors that make them a beloved breed among dog enthusiasts. Here are some key traits commonly associated with Samoyeds, friendly and gentle. Samoyeds are known for their friendly and gentle nature. They tend to be sociable dogs that enjoy the company of people and get along well with children and other pets when properly socialized. Affectionate, Samoyeds are highly affectionate dogs. They form strong bonds with their family members and thrive on attention and physical affection. They often enjoy cuddling, leaning against their owners, and being close companions. Playful and energetic, Samoyeds are an active breed with a playful spirit. They have a good amount of energy and enjoy engaging in playtime and outdoor activities. Regular exercise is essential to keep them physically and mentally stimulated. Alert and protective. While Samoyeds are generally friendly, they also possess a natural alertness and can be protective of their family. They make decent watchdogs and will alert their owners to any potential threats or unusual activities. Intelligent and independent thinkers, Samoyeds are intelligent dogs that can sometimes display an independent streak. While they are trainable, they may require consistent and patient training methods that emphasize positive reinforcement. They have a tendency to think for themselves and may need extra motivation during training sessions. Vocal, Samoyeds are known for their vocalizations. They often talk or sing through various vocalizations such as barking, howling, or making other expressive sounds. Their vocal nature adds to their charming and sometimes comical personality. High maintenance coats, Samoyeds have a thick, double layered coat that requires regular grooming. They shed profusely, especially during seasonal coat changes, and need frequent brushing, to prevent matting. They are not considered a hypoallergenic breed, and their grooming needs should be considered if allergies are a concern. Strong working instincts. Historically, Samoyeds were working dogs used for herding reindeer, pulling sleds, and other tasks. They still retain strong working instincts and may enjoy activities such as obedience training, agility, and even pulling carts or sleds in modern times. Remember that while these characteristics are common in Samoyeds, individual dogs may exhibit variations in behavior based on their upbringing, training, and temperament. Proper socialization, training, and regular exercise are key to fostering a well-behaved and happy Samoyed companion. Samoyeds are considered a medium to large-sized breed. The average height and weight range for adult Samoyeds is as follows. Height, males typically stand between 21 to 23.5 inches, 53 to 60 centimeters, at the shoulder. 
females are slightly smaller, ranging from 19 to 21 inches, 48 to 53 centimeters, in height. Weight, adult male Samoyeds generally weigh between 45 to 65 pounds, 20 to 30 kilograms, while adult females usually weigh around 35 to 50 pounds, 16 to 23 kilograms. It's important to note that, these are general guidelines, and individual Samoyeds may vary in size, with some dogs being slightly smaller or larger than the average range. Additionally, proper nutrition, exercise, and genetics can also influence a Samoyed's size. Samoyeds have a sturdy and well-proportioned build. They are muscular dogs with a strong frame that allows them to perform various tasks, such as pulling sleds or herding. Their size and strength make them capable of handling cold climates and physically demanding activities. When looking to purchase a Samoyed, it is essential to approach reputable sources to ensure the health and well-being of the dog. Here are a few options for finding a Samoyed, responsible breeders, start by researching and contacting reputable Samoyed breeders. Responsible breeders. Prioritize the health and temperament of their dogs and provide proper care and socialization. They will be knowledgeable about the breed and often perform health screenings on their breeding dogs. You can find reputable breeders through national or local Samoyed clubs or breed-specific organizations. Remember to visit the breeders' facilities, ask questions, and ensure they follow ethical breeding practices. Rescue organizations, consider adopting a Samoyed from a rescue organization or shelter. Samoyed-specific rescue groups or general dog shelters may have Samoyeds available for adoption. Adopting a rescue dog not only provides a loving home for a dog in need but also gives you the opportunity to make a positive difference in a dog's life. Breed specific events, attend dog, shows, events, or exhibitions that feature Samoyeds. These events can be an excellent opportunity to meet breeders, owners, and enthusiasts who can provide information about reputable breeders or upcoming litters. Online platforms, be cautious when using online platforms to find a Samoyed, as there are both reputable and less reputable sources. Research the seller thoroughly, ask for health, clearances and documentation, and ideally arrange to meet the dog and breeder in person before making any commitments. Remember, acquiring a Samoyed is a long-term commitment, and it is essential to choose a source that prioritizes the health and well-being of the dogs. Always ensure that the breeder or organization follows ethical practices and provides proper care and socialization for their dogs. The price of a Samoyed dog can vary significantly depending on several factors such as the breeder's reputation, the dog's lineage, geographical location, and the overall demand for the breed. On average, you can expect to pay anywhere between $1,500 to $3,000 or more for a Samoyed puppy from a reputable breeder. It's important to note that the initial cost of purchasing a Samoyed is just one aspect of the expenses associated with owning a dog. You should also consider ongoing costs such as veterinary care, grooming, food, supplies, training, and potential unforeseen expenses. When looking to purchase a Samoyed, it is crucial to prioritize finding a responsible breeder who focuses on the health and well-being of their dogs. Avoid buying from puppy mills, backyard breeders, or sources that do not prioritize the welfare of the animals. Remember that acquiring a dog is a long-term commitment, and it is important to consider not only the initial purchase price but also the overall cost of caring for the dog through Mga senyales o hint na maaaring makatulong sa pagtukoy kung may girlfriend o asawa ang isang lalaki. Isa, kung lagi niyang bitbit ang kanyang cellphone at madalas siyang tumitingin o nagche-check ng mga messages or tumatawag sa sino man. Dalawa, kung hindi siya maaaring makipag-usap o tumingin sa inyong mata. Tatlo, maingay o seryoso siya sa work, at kapag umuwi siya ay diretso sa bahay niya. Apat, Hindi siya open book at hindi makwento about sa personal life niya at kung may nararamdaman siyang pag-aalala sa kanila. 5. Kung may mga calls siya na tumatawag kapag walang kasama. 6. 
kung nabanggit niya sa inyo na may girlfriend o asawa na siya. Pito, lagi ring nagmamadali o may time constraint kapag magkikita kayo. Walang one size fits all na sagot sa pagkakaroon ng knowledge tungkol sa pagkakaroon ng asawa o girlfriend ng isang lalaki. Ang posibilidad ng isang relasyon ay iba-iba depende sa tao at ang kanilang personal na sitwasyon. Kung interesado kang malaman, mabuting magpakalma, magbigay ng respeto, at magtanong ng diretsyo at hindi banayad sa mga tamang oportunidad sa halip na maghahinalang walang katiyakan. Like at follow for more. Tong Dapat Iwasan 1 Toxic people, these are people who are negative, manipulative, and drain your energy. It's best to distance yourself from them to maintain your mental and emotional well-being. 2. Gossips, these are people who enjoy spreading rumors and talking behind someone's back. They cannot be trusted and can cause unnecessary drama and conflict. 3. Narcissistic and self-centered people, these your own mental health and well-being. 2. Narcissists, these are people who are overly self-centered and believe they are always right. They may disregard others' feelings, manipulate, and exploit others for their own gain. 3. Gossips, these are people who love to spread rumors or talk about others behind their backs. They thrive on drama and negativity and can cause harm to your relationships and reputation. 4. Energy Vampires These are people who constantly complain, vent, and dump their problems on others. They drain your energy and emotions, leaving you exhausted and demotivated. 5. Bullies These are people who use power and intimidation to control and harm others. They may belittle, threaten, or physically harm others, creating a toxic and unsafe environment. 6. Liars These are people who deceive, distort, or hide the truth. It's hard to trust them and have a meaningful relationship when there is no transparency and honesty. 7. Users, these are people who only contact you when they need something, like money, favors, or attention. They don't care about you, and you deserve better friends who value your presence and contribution. Overall, it's essential to prioritize your mental health and surround yourself with people who uplift and support you not bring you down. Please like and follow for more. Thanos, a cosmic villain Thanos is a fictional character in the Marvel Comics universe and has gained significant prominence as a major villain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU. He was created by writer-artist Jim Starlin and made his first appearance in Iron Man No. 55 and 1973. Thanos is often portrayed as a formidable and ruthless cosmic supervillain with a complex personality. In terms of his backstory, Thanos was born on the planet Titan, one of the moons of Saturn. He belonged to the race of Eternals, a genetically enhanced species possessing immense longevity, strength, and other superhuman abilities. However, Thanos was born with a condition known as the Deviant Syndrome which gave him a grotesque appearance and made him an outcast among his people. Growing up, Thanos became obsessed with the concept of death and the idea of bringing balance to the universe. In pursuit of this goal, he became a devotee of the nihilistic entity known as death itself, personified as a female figure. Thanos believed that by wiping out half of all life in the universe, he would restore balance and earn the favor of death. To achieve his objective, Thanos sought the powerful Infinity Stones, six gems of immense cosmic power that grant their wielder control over various aspects of the universe. Throughout his comic book history, Thanos has embarked on numerous quests to gather the Infinity Stones, often clashing with various superheroes, including the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Thanos made his first appearance in the post-credits scene of the Avengers, 2012. His ultimate plan was to collect all six Infinity Stones and use their combined power to wipe out half of all life in the universe with a snap of his fingers, believing it would solve the problem of overpopulation and resource scarcity. Thanos clashed with the Avengers in Avengers, Infinity War, 2018, and Avengers, Endgame. 2019, becoming one of the most 
memorable and iconic villains in the MCU. Thanos' character has been praised for his complexity, with motivations and beliefs that go beyond typical villain stereotypes. He is often portrayed as a formidable and intelligent adversary, willing to go to extreme lengths to accomplish his goals. Once upon a time in the distant reaches of the universe, on the moon of Titan, a child named Thanos was born to Alas and Sui San, members of the Eternals. As he entered the world, it became apparent that Thanos was different from his kin. His purple skin, brawny physique, and imposing features set him apart, evoking a mix of fear and unease among the Eternals. From an early age, Thanos had a deep curiosity about life, death, and the nature of the universe. As he grew older, his fascination transformed into an obsession. Thanos believed that the universe was teetering on the brink of disaster, plagued by overpopulation and dwindling resources. He became convinced that the only solution was to bring balance by culling half of all life. Driven by his insatiable hunger for knowledge and power, Thanos embarked on a relentless quest to understand the secrets of the universe. He delved into ancient cosmic tomes, consulted mystics and scholars, and sought the counsel of beings of immense power. Through his studies, he discovered tales of the Infinity Stones, six gems imbued with unimaginable cosmic power. Thanos became convinced that the Infinity Stones held the key to accomplishing his mission. He set out to collect each stone, leaving a trail of destruction in his wake. His journey took him across galaxies, clashing with powerful beings and superheroes who sought to stop him. Along the way, he faced numerous trials and sacrifices, testing his resolve and pushing him further into darkness. But as Thanos acquired the stones, he discovered a disconcerting truth, the stones had a sentience of their own, whispering temptations and illusions into his mind. They exploited his desire for balance, fueling his belief that his actions were justified. Yet, deep down, Thanos struggled with the consequences of his choices. Eventually, Thanos assembled the six Infinity Stones, a power unparalleled in the universe. With a heavy heart, he raised his hand, clad in the golden gauntlet housing the stones, and made a fateful decision. A single snap of his fingers unleashed a cataclysmic event, eradicating half of all life in an instant. The universe trembled as civilizations crumbled, and heroes and villains alike dissolved into dust. Thanos believed he had accomplished his goal, believing that the suffering caused by his actions was a necessary sacrifice. However, the aftermath left him feeling hollow, plagued by doubt and guilt. The weight of the lives lost and their devastation he had caused bore down upon him. In the end, Thanos was a tragic figure, driven by his twisted vision of balance. His story serves as a reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the complexities of the human psyche. Despite his monstrous deeds, there remains a sliver of sympathy for the tortured soul who believed he was saving the universe, even if his methods were unfathomably cruel. As the dust settled after Thanos' devastating snap, the universe plunged into chaos and despair. The remaining half of the population struggled to cope with the loss of loved ones and the shattered societies left in the wake of the cataclysm. Thanos, burdened by the weight of his actions, retreated to a secluded corner of the universe. In solitude, Thanos contemplated the consequences of his grand plan. He pondered the grief and suffering that had permeated the cosmos, realizing that his vision of balance had brought about immeasurable pain. Doubt gnawed at his conscience, and he questioned whether his actions had truly achieved the desired outcome. Taunted by the memory of Gamera, his adopted daughter whom he had sacrificed for the Soul Stone, Thanos began to question the depth of his understanding. He questioned his obsession with death, his unwavering belief in his own righteousness, and the manipulations of the Infinity Stones. As Thanos delved deeper into introspection, he discovered an alternative path, one that diverged from his previous convictions. He came to understand that true balance was not achieved through indiscriminate eradication but, through fostering harmony, compassion, and cooperation among all beings. Driven by a newfound purpose, 
Thanos embarked on a quest for redemption. He sought to undo the damage he had wrought and restore the lives that were lost. With the Infinity Stones in his possession, he harnessed their power once again, not to destroy but to heal. Across the universe, whispers of hope began to spread as those who had turned to dust were resurrected. Families were reunited, fractured societies started to rebuild, and the scars left by Thanos' snap began to heal. Thanos, having embraced a path of redemption, became a symbol of change, inspiring others to confront their past mistakes and work towards a brighter future. However, not everyone was willing to forgive and forget. Some factions saw Thanos as, irredeemable, viewing his actions as unforgivable crimes against the universe. They sought to bring him to justice, leading to conflicts and confrontations that tested Thanos' commitment to his newfound path. Despite the challenges, Thanos remained resolute. He recognized that redemption was a continuous journey, requiring him to confront his past, make amends, and actively contribute to, rebuilding what he had destroyed. Through his actions, he aimed to create a legacy that went beyond his earlier legacy of destruction. Thanos' transformation from a ruthless villain to a seeker of redemption became a tale of growth and personal evolution. It served as a reminder that even the darkest souls could find their way back to the light and contribute to the healing of the universe they had once sought to tear apart. Thanks for watching. See you next. Turkmenistan is located in Central Asia and is bordered by Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, and Iran. It gained independence from the Soviet Union in 1991 and became a presidential republic. Turkmenistan is known for its large natural gas reserves, which make up about 9% of the world's total supply. The country is home to the Karakum Desert, Union in 1991. Turkmenistan's official language is Turkmen and the majority of the population practices Islam. Turkmenistan is one of the most sparsely populated countries in the world with a population of around 6 million people. The country is known for its large reserves of natural gas, making it one of the world's top gas exporters. The capital of Turkmenistan, Ashgabat, is known for its extravagant architecture and Guinness world record winning buildings. Turkmenistan is home to the Darveza gas crater, also known as the Daughter Hell. It's a natural gas fire that has been burning since 1971 and has become a popular tourist attraction. The national emblem of Turkmenistan features five traditional carpet designs, highlighting the importance of textiles in the country's culture. Turkmenistan has a strong tradition of horsemanship with the Akaltik breed of horses being one of the oldest and most distinct breeds in the world. Despite its cultural richness and natural resources, Turkmenistan's human rights record and political freedom have been criticized by international organizations. Sampung nakakatuwang Pinoy goats. Isa, ang buhay ay parang roller coaster ride, kung hindi ka masasaktan, hindi mo mararanasan ang buhay. Dalawa, Ang pagpapakawala ng utot ay parang pagpapakawala ng pag-ibig sa iniirog hindi mo dapat pigilan. Tatlo, kung hindi mo mahanap ang pag-ibig sa buhay, magdala ka ng gamot, baka naman mamaya lang mahilo ka na sa saya. Tatlo, kung may problema sa buhay, huwag matens dahil di ito makakabuti sa liver mo. Apat, ang pag-ibig ay parang traffic, minsan natatagalan, minsan naman mabilis lang. Lima, kapag mayaman ka, Lahat maa-afford mo pati ang heart attack. Anim, kapag nagkamali ka, huwag kang mag-alala kasi nasa likod mo lang ang buong tropa mo. Pito, ang buhay ay parang movie, maraming drama, comedy, at action minsan kailangan mo lang magpakatino sa horror. Walo, kapag may lumapit na pulis, huwag makipagkulitan, baka mamaya ma-confuse siya sa petex mong buhay. Sham, kapag nasasaktan ka ngayon dahil sa pag-ibig, huwag kang mag-alala. Dahil sa susunod na buwan, may bago ulit, na mamahalin mo. Sampo, kapag in love ka, mag-ingat ka baka mamaya mabingi ka sa we love you too, pero as a friend lang pala.